Hello, Buddhas. Today, we are going to talk about something that might be somewhat controversial, and that is that other people's opinions don't freaking matter. Now, before you click away and get all angry in the comments, which feel free to leave as many comments as you'd like, it helps me no matter what, please also don't forget about that whole subscribe, like button, bell notification stuff, you know the drill at this point. But why do other people's opinions not matter is really why you're here, and it's extremely simple. When you create your reality, when you start to care what you think, your whole world will change. Point, period, done. That's pretty much the video. Now for a longer explanation, please stay tuned. Why do I say these things? Why am I trying to be so controversial and clickbaity? Because it gets views, but also because it actually does not matter what other people think. Hear me out. What you think other people think about you is not what other people think about you. Additionally, what they think about you does not necessarily reflect what you think about you. So when you're trying to balance all three or four, I don't even know how many combinations you can make of that, to be frank. When you're trying to balance all of that, it can get kind of annoying. And I'm at a point in my life, personally, where I feel that I know me pretty well. I know my likes, and I know my dislikes, and I know what I consider to be moral, and I know what I consider to be amoral. And I make my life decisions based on how I feel about the situation. Okay? I don't need laws to that say, thou shalt not murder, for me not to want to murder people. And I know that that is an extreme example, but I think it is extremely relevant. We have come to a point in society where this conversation that I'm having right now is very relevant. You can choose one of two things. You can choose to do what you're told, and I hope you enjoy your life. Or you can choose to actually do what you want, and that does not mean to hurt anyone. I'm going to be very clear here. I have no intentions of hurting anybody ever. However, I don't take every single person's opinion into account when I am doing something. It's impossible. So many of the great teachers have talked about this, and I just wanted to get my own two cents in on the subject, because it's one of those things that drives me nuts. For a long time, long time of my life, I have taken people's opinions into consideration to the detriment of my own success. That is just a fact. And I do not regret it because that would be blaming. And I do not regret it because that would mean I'm not in the situation that I am now, because things would have been different. But now that I know this, I have no more excuses to just do what I'm told and hope for the best, because that does not work. If we all did what we were told, okay, we would show up to a job, work the job, go home and sleep, and then go to the job again. That's the most efficient drone you can get. And we do that with robots, because robots are machine code that we have programmed ourselves. Human beings can be programmed like robots, and a lot of us have been and are. But you can rewrite your own operating system to an extent here. Sorry if I'm going down on a tech tangent. But you can rewrite yourself to be like, hey, what does the Alex robot want to do today? And you can do it. Now, does this mean that you can, I don't know, go outside and just jump up in the air and fly around because you feel like you don't care about others' opinions, and that should be doable if I want to. No, there are, the laws of physics still exist, and I haven't quite figured out how to get around them, but apparently it's possible. Stay tuned. What you can do, though, is make your own decisions about what you like. So, blatant example, 
I used to live in a white box. And I decided that I wanted a green wall. I'm not sure if it comes out as nice green, but it's a beautiful green wall in real life. And it's turning out to be a fantastic background to isolate my face here against that green wall. Loving it. So I made that decision. I went with it. I didn't really consult with many people. Now, I used other people to help me get good ideas, but at the end of the day, I made a decision and I went with it. And I'm so happy and grateful that I did. If I had spent my entire life asking every single person who might ever see this wall what they think the wall color should be, then I would never have made the decision. And I realize that this is a really silly, little, minute example. But you can apply the same principle to absolutely everything in your life. Going on YouTube is a decision that I made, not because I think that other people wanted me to do it, but because I want to do it and I want to share this love with an incredibly beautiful audience, which is all of you. So let us know down in the comments. A, if you've got any questions about anything, I will answer every single comment. And B, if you've ever experienced that kind of threshold where you're realizing that you get to make your own decisions and stop giving a shit about other people's opinions and it's amazingly empowering. It is incredibly enlightening to have that, wow, I'm in charge sensation. So share that with us. Let us know when that's happened for you. Of course, like down below, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get videos every single day in your inbox. And remember, Buddhas, what is the absolutely number one most important thing? Is to love yourself.